Well, Gary, many times you've spoken about the spirit and the character of this squad. Has that shone through yet again today? Oh, unbelievably so. Um, so you know, they have an unbelievable attitude. They never know when they're beaten, and no more so than, than today. It's uh, a credit to them. They're unbelievable. It's not an accident that it keeps happening, no, not is at it? all. Not at all, you know. They work very hard during the week. Uh, they've got a great spirit, they've got a great character. Uh, they love doing what they do, they enjoy it, uh, they enjoy each other and I thought you saw that tonight. Where does that come from? Because they, they look like a side that believes that no matter what the circumstances, yeah. they'll get something. Listen, we, we, we've came to a very difficult place. I don't think they've lost at home this season. Uh, we started the game ever so well uh, and then Middlesbrough started to get into it and started doing what they're very good at. Uh, they're a top team with a top manager. Um, and you know, we had a great chance with Rudy at nil-nil, and then um, Simon Eastwood's pulled. Well, last year I said world-class save at QPR. Uh, that's better than it. Uh, and um, you know, even when we conceded and it was a deflection, you know, they don't give in. They never know when they're beaten, and it comes from hard work, getting the right characters into the football club. And, and building on it and working on it. Uh, the mentality we spoke today coming into this game about the mentality and the intensity. The mentality was there for everybody to see. Delighted for the fans because, by the way, they were magnificent today. They were truly non-stop setting off, especially because, you know, we were under the cosh, yeah. We were, we're going to be away from home against one of the top teams, but you need your goalie to make saves and then uh, you need your fans to back the team and keep going, and that's what's happened today. Delighted. And when you've got someone like Rudy, we think it's Rudy that's got the goal, yeah, Rudy, yeah. it is Rudy, when you've got someone like that in the team, you always feel you, you get a chance and he's capable of putting it in. No, we spoke all along about, you know, we feel the confidence from the fact that we've got goals in the team. Um, whether it's Rudy, whether it's Jordan, Marshy, you know, this, it was delighted Brownie got on the pitch and played a part in the goal as well, you know. So we, we've got a great confidence and the belief that we can score goals no matter what time. Does it show how much this unbeaten run means to the players? Um, I don't think with two minutes to go they were thinking about an unbeaten run. You know, they were just thinking about getting something out of the game at, like I say, a very difficult place. And we're absolutely delighted with that, 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 that character. You mentioned Simon Eastwood before. When you sat on the bench for, for week after week, it's probably not the easiest for a goalkeeper, but how well did he perform today? He was outstanding. That's, he was outstanding, you know. There was there was no other word to describe it. He was unbelievable. Some of the saves he made, you know, um, and for like you say, for him to have played, I think his last game for us was a long, long time ago in the league. So uh, full credit to him. He's another one in character. Never groans. Gets on with it. Trains maximum and pulls out saves like that in training. So uh, he's just been phenomenal for the lads and they fully appreciated him today and so was Steely Steely was the first one in the dressing room you know I was going to say does he do, sort of epitomise what, what the squad's about last week it was Luke Varner's turn yeah, you yeah. know to, to yeah. earn a lot of credit well, in today's well, Simon you know like you say it's the team it's not the individual that wins games it's the team and um, you know everybody's bought into that philosophy and that, he, that, that, that that's brilliant for them to see I'll just put into context, you said a really tough place oh. to come and get a result, so to head home with a positive result. Yeah, I mean, you know, they've got a very good manager. Uh, they spent a lot of money in the summer, so they're taking off a striker that cost about three and a half million and replacing him with one that nearly cost four million. So it shows you the uh, the, the size of the task. Um, but I like to say, I've got nothing but praise for our lads.